Hi guys, it's your warrior. Welcome back to Prepping in Free America. If you like what you hear here, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be the first kid on your block to know what craziness I'm talking about next, hit the bell icon with all. And leave comments, folks. Leave comments. I'll try do my best to get to them in, in 24 hours or less. And hit the thumbs up helps the channel grow. Now that we're past Christmas, let's talk about movies. This last couple of weeks I've been slipping into the theaters. You know, being a senior citizen I can get in for five bucks. And I've seen a couple of decent movies. One I thought was real good and one that what I thought was just decent. But that's not what we're going to talk about. These are my idea of the top five prepper movies that people should see. Amerigeddon. Now this is a 2016 movie. Hmm. It talks about our government getting in bed with the One World Order, with the UN, to take the United States down. It's worth a look. Second movie on that list, Contagion. You know, when it came down to it, there were a couple of movies I, I thought I needed above that, but Contagion, it's a 2011 movie. Was it foreshadowing what was going to happen nine years later? Dragon Day. Now, when I first saw this movie, it was called Invasion Day, but I've noticed you can find this. The Amerigeddon and Dragon Day, just about all these movies I'm talking about, you'll find on uh, YouTube. <coughs> and most of them you can watch for free. Dragon Day was done in 2013. And the storyline is basically the United States and China get into a heated discussion. The United States decides not to pay them any more money. And the Chinese had built a back door into all the chips that they were shipping to the United States and started turning them off, which shut down the electrical grid, shut down aircraft and everything. It's worth watching. Now, it's not a great movie. It's never going to get an Academy Award, but it's worth watching. Goodbye, world. It's a 2014 movie. Now, what happens after the collapse? Of our country and it's worth watching for preppers especially because this is the way some people are going to act the next one is also a 2014 movie called blackout pastor joe fox over at uh, viking preparedness on his channel one day suggested watching this. Now, well, I'm going to take a look at it. I'm telling you folks, I'm sure this is the way people will act in this movie. 
especially those who are not prepared. That's the reason I, I'm av advocating so hard for people to get prepared. Now, a couple of honorable mentions. Panic in the Year Zero. It's a 1962 movie. It's what happens after, you know, they were figuring on an atomic bomb attack. That's how I use the old term. Having a nuclear war. And I've seen the movie. I, I remember seeing it back in 62. And my dad said, nah, that won't happen can't happen that way. Nah, nah, nah. I look at it today and I go, yeah, it's a possibility. Outbreak, 1997. Guys, I've done a lot of movies about pandemics. Contagion and Outbreak just happened to be two that mirrors what we're going through now. And these were done years ago. I don't, I don't believe in, in coincidence. But I do, I do believe that some of the people in Hollywood have an inside track to possibilities. You know, guys, this is the reason I want you to prepare. These movies, I want you to prepare. And once you watch them, you go, Maybe I should prepare. Because you'll look at, at some of them and go, that's a real possibility. Or at least I do. Guys, with that being said, remember, it's better to have this stuff and not need it than need it and not have it. And if you're prepping, you're going to live free. And one other thing, remember 2020. If you're having a problem on getting ready, you know, thinking about prepping, just remember what happened in 2020. Mother and I were sitting here at the house. We did not have to leave this house for any reason because we had enough of everything in the house. Now that mom's in the nursing home, I just doubled my supply. So with that being said, remember it's better to have this stuff and not need it than need it and not have it. I'm the Ancient Warrior. We're out.